In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the isNumber function in Google Sheets and then go over a couple useful ways that you can use it in your spreadsheet. So the isNumber function, kind of like it sounds, um, will check a value and see if it is a number or not. If it is a number, it's going to return true. If it's not a number, it's going to return false. So it's a pretty simple function to use. Um, this is the basic syntax. It's just is number and then the value that you want to check. So you can either put a cell reference in here or the value itself. So to do it on this data, let me just show you is number. And I'm going to put in my cell reference. And you can see that for the numbers, it returns true. Um, for the values that are not numbers, it returns false. So that is basically it for the isNumber function. Um, the isNumber function is not very often used by itself, so it might not seem very useful to you right now, but it is most often used in combination with other functions, and that's where it gets most of its use. So now I'm going to show you just two other ways that you can use it in combination um, with other functions to do other things. So the first thing I'm going to show is using it in combination with the if function. Um, with this, instead of returning true or false if our value is a number, we can set the value um, that it returns by using it with the if function. So if you're not familiar with the if function. Um, this is the basic syntax. It's if, and then you have a logical test, and then if that test returns true, it returns the value of true that you set. If the test returns false, it returns the value that you set if false. So to use this with the is number function, um, our logical test is where we actually put the is number function itself. So to do this in this example data, um, what I'm going to do is just this formula here. Um, if it's true, I'm going to return this is a number. If it's not true, I'm going to return this is not a number. So first I'm going to do an if, and then I'm going to nest inside my is number. And then this is a number. This is not a number. And let me see, I messed up somewhere. I don't have a parentheses around here. And let me see, what did I do? This happens sometimes. If is number. That looks correct to me. There should not be a two. Yeah, okay. Anyways, yes. So, I want A2, not A20. Okay, a little bit of troubleshooting there. Um, just make sure your parentheses are in the right spot so you don't have troubles like I did. But anyways, you can see that for the ones that are numbers, it returns the value that I set. This is a number. For the ones that are not numbers, it returns the value of false that I set. This is not a number. So this is where you can see it begins to, to be useful. Um, you can set up your own custom formulas to return whatever values you want based on whether these are numbers. So that is just a small example of when it starts to be useful. There's definitely other ways you can do it as you get more creative. Another way I'm going to show is just to apply conditional formatting if your data is a number. So to do this, I am going to highlight the range of cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. And then I'm going to go to Format, Conditional Formatting. And then this tab is going to open up. I want to format cells if custom formula is and then in here is where you put your is number formula so I'm just going to do is number a2 
And then what I'm going to do is highlight it by selecting fill color. You can do any kind of formatting you want. Let's just do this pinkish color and then hit done. So this is my custom formula. It's applied to this cell range and you can see that the values that are numbers are now highlighted red. So that's another way you can use the is number function. But again, as you get more creative with this function, there's a ton of different things you can do with it um, by itself. Again, it's not very useful, but as you gain more experience, I'm sure you can think of plenty of other ways that you can use this. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.